Hello everybody, Random Gnome here, and today we're going to play Reseteer in Item Shop's Tale. And it's pretty much, um, you gotta pay back debt, and you gotta start, uh, you know, a store up. And sell pretty much, you're pretty much an item shop in the world of an RPG, that's pretty much what this is. And it might turn off a couple people because you play as a little girl, and you know what, that's fine. This is something different than I'm usually used to doing, I'm usually used to doing a macho man, you know, maybe killing zombies or doing something cool, I don't know. I played this game a little bit, I have not completed it, so some of this stuff will be new to me, so let's jump in. I assume that the first episode will be mostly me reading, so that'll be fun. Let me get this cursor out of here. Oh, for the love of, she's still sleeping. Yeah, whatever. Does she really not understand the, how important today is? Murple. <laughs> Can't eat another bite. But I can always find room for yummy candy. Mimble Werble. Wake up, please. Wahoo, when's it? Oh, Tear, good morning. We don't have time for good morning, Rissa Tear. Or Reset, I'm sorry. Are you planning on spending the rest of the day? Rest of your life dreaming of sweets. Today is the day we set for opening the store. Oh, we did? Oh yeah, we did. Alright. Listen, go wash your face and make yourself presentable. And join me downstairs for the storefront. Okay, I'll be right down. Sorry to keep you waiting. Okay, Tyr, let's open the shop right now. Capitalism ho! Patience reset. It is a virtue you will need. We need to take care of a few matters before we open officially. Like what? Well, I somehow doubt a store without anything to sell is going to attract all that must business. Uh... We don't have anything to sell. So, uh, what do we do? To start with, we need to establish a stock of items for the store. If we have nothing to sell, we cannot claim to be an item shop, or much of a shop. That's true, hmm. So where should we go to get stocked up? The best way, I think, would be to visit either ta the town market or the merchants guild. We need to give our regards to the head of the guild regardless, so that so that should prosper, probably be our first stop, okay? Oh, that's the place run by the old guy, right? The guild operates as a wholesaler for local merchants, so if we stop by, we can purchase an initial stock. It would not hurt to grove. give our polite regards to the guild chief either. Especially since the guild is, organi the, is the organization that allows us to operate here in the first place. Okay, got it. Then let's go right now. Yeah, this is going to be a lot of reading. When you want to leave the shop, head to the front door currently located at the upper right hand corner of the store. But I want to leave through the window like an action hero to an eternity and reset. Oh, okay. Whatever. This tutorial, I hope it's not too long, considering, you know, that'll be a lot of reading. Konnichiwa. A girl and a fairy, you tell her a reset. And that loan shark. What? While that is not, well, an incorrect assessment, could I ask that you refrain from calling me a loan shark? That's right, mister. She and I are partners, don't be mean. Forgive me, forgive me, partners it is. So how are the preparations coming for the shop? Quite well, thank you. Stop and buy an order. Show our gratitude for your help. Very good. I might not read all of this. This is kind of a lot. Not a problem. Pick up some merchandise. Let's get it in. Our funds are limited, so do not completely go overboard. I recommend purchasing no more than a 10 items. KO. Uh, let's buy some. You know, you gotta get some swords. Let's buy three swords, just because... Well, that's kind of a, a lot of money. I probably shouldn't have done that. 
clothes. Everybody buys clothes. You don't have to be a warrior, so maybe buy a raincoat too. Leather glove. And how about we buy a wool hat? Oh, too much. Too much. Eh. Alright, we're good, we're good. Forget about it. We don't need to talk to him no more. Oh, yeah, we do. Right then, will that be all? Yes, this is perfect. We shall return when our stocks get low again. Looking forward to it. Here's a little something as an extra startup gift. Ooh, walnut bread. Alright, little lady, give him your all. Capitalism ho! Well, Adam Smith would be proud of us at any rate. Alright. We can go back to our shop and set up our stuff. Duh, duh, duh. Very well, it is time to give you a crash course of the basics of running an item shop. Okay, what do I do first? First, we need to put some items on display. <sighs> if we do not have our goods out for people to see, we can hardly expect the customers to buy them at all, or after all. So I just need to get near these counters. Just so, once you know where you wish to place something, choose what you wish to place in that spot by pressing the primary button. Primary button? You will understand when you try it, trust me. Now recommend... Now remember, what you place will affect how people perceive the store. So think carefully before you place something. Okay. Let's do it, let's do it. May I speak with you for a moment? Sure, what is it? Those counters by the window. Items in place there are visible to anybody passing by on the street as such. Putting eye-catching items, the sort of thing that makes you think, I want to buy this more than anything. On those counters is a core principle of running a shop like this. In a very real way, those counters are the face of the shop. And what is placed there greatly affects the interest of our business. So choose what to place there very, very carefully. I never thought about that. Okay, I'll be careful. Alright, whatever. Let's get some cool stuff, put some gloves up there. Let's put a little bit of everything. I think raincoat's pretty expensive compared to everything else. Put a sword. This walnut bread, okay. We're good to go. That should be for displaying our wares, okay. Are you sure it doesn't look dumb? I... Don't worry, everything is, looks good enough for a first attempt. I need to teach you how to actually sell things. Alright. Righto. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Da, 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 da. Alright, to start with, I will lecture you on the actual process of selling an item. Yes. The students do not listen, they will get any credit. Alright. Now then. When a customer enters... Yeah, we'll welcome him in. We'll get it. We get that. Feel comfortable? Right on. Let me demonstrate. Can I get this, please? Yes, I'm. If you push the press button three, you can view and expand in information of the item in question. Consult the custom.exe program if you want to... Whatever, whatever. If you want to alter your configuration. What's all this? Alright, whatever. Come on. In general, you want to try to name a price higher than the base. Try naming a price, if you will. Pretty sure one tw like a little bit under 120% is perfect. If your price is too high, however, a customer will simply walk out. Learning to determine the proper price, there, there, there lies the challenge. In this game, like, there's little girls in this game, they're really... They really won't pay high at all. Remember what I said about comfort earlier? That is the key here. Offer a price, but do not make it so outrageous that the customer feels you are not acting in good faith. So if they disagree, but stay, offer them a new price. Ideally, you will lower 
your offer a little and they will take it and you and give you a sale. Some customers may just be trying to sniff out a better price when they are really willing to pay your initial price. However, whether or not you risk testing that your possibility is up to you, that possibility is up to you. Alright. How long can you keep haggling? Well, that depends on how regular a customer in question is. Okay, this is a lot of reading. Alright, we get it, we get it. People can haggle. They probably don't want to. If it's too outrageous, we gotcha. Yes. There you go. 420, smoke weed every day. Theoretically, what you do is lower the price slowly. Exactly, okay. You do not want to risk driving away a customer, right? So, as a customer, I am haggling. Could you make it a little bit cheaper? Sure, why not? There we are, reducing the price at this level makes a sale pretty good. Well, that covers just about everything. Let's put it to practice and all. Can you sell me an item? Yes, let's do it. Let's get it in. A sword, oh nice. Alright. I always think like around 117 or 118 or anything like around 120 is perfect. I mean, that means they'll buy it the first time. You can try getting more out of them. But you know what? I don't think you need too much. I mean, maybe later in the game when, you know, you have to pay a lot of money. Alright, let's see. Steel Sword. Arigato! Expertly done. Alright. And that is essentially how it goes. You're quite good for someone who has never done this before. Really? We still have a little bit of time left today, so go ahead and open the store proper. If anybody comes in, simply hand them, handle them in the same way that we just practiced. Don't worry. As the saying goes, salesmanship is more of an art than it is a science. You learn it as you go. Now then. I will open us up. Go and sit at the counter. Okie dokie. And, uh, yeah, I know this is probably not as fun to watch as it will be later. Because, uh, later, you know, we'll be f more fast action selling, making, you know, we have to sell, we have to make a lot of money in a small amount of time. We'll have to go into dungeons and stuff. It's pretty insane. Less, please. Okay. Let's go down to 19 or 17. No, let's go to 17. That'll be fine. Yeah, that's right. We did it. We sold something. Congratulations. You did well. I sold stuff. I, me, reset, sold stuff. Like, to people. Hey, Tear. I, I'm so happy I did it. Tear, I did it. Papa, I did it. And that's how we started running an item shop. Oh yeah, you're wondering why we started an item shop after all. Well, to explain, you need to understand how Tyr and I first met. Easy Game Station presents. Eh? So slow. A tale of a fairy and a girl. And an item shop, am I right? And how to run an item shop. Quite. But yeah, the fact that there's a little girl in this game, that shouldn't turn you off. Uh, I bought this game on a whim during, I think, the summer sales or Christmas sales. And it's really fun. You can get really addicted to it really fast. So, uh, if you want to, try buying it now. And if you don't think the price is that great, 
Just wait till it goes on sale. Just like something you would buy in an item shop, am I right, fellas? Calendar says it's been three months since Papa left. I don't get why he says, Suddenly, I'm gonna be a hero, and then took off without saying when he'd be back. I really hope he's okay, I'm getting lonely. <laughs> well, I shouldn't worry too much about him. The best thing about him is how tough he is. He'll be okay. Knock, knock. Papa wouldn't knock. Who is that? Hi. There's nobody here. Wait, what? At my feet. Good evening. Um... You are Mademoiselle Reset Lemongrass. Miss Fairy? Pardon me. But I am the one asking the questions. Again, you are Reset Lemongrass. Yes, I'm Reset. My name is Tyr, and I'm an agent of the Termi... Term... Finance Company. Finance Company? I'm here to collect the payment and loan paid out to your father. Here is the contract and my identification. Loan repayment, I, uh... In plainer terms, I am here to get our money back. If you're an incapable of facilitating repayment, this house will be seized as a collateral in order to repay the loan. <laughs> okay. Papa Papa isn't... He is not here, yes, I see that now. Monsoir Lemongrass disappeared following a fracas of, I don't know, some kind of dragon atop the local volcano. So we assumed he might return, might have returned here. Even if he has not, however, the contract covers the this eventually. Eventuality covers this quite. As the sole remaining member of his household, we shall require that you pay his debts in his steed. Bwah! But... But that... How am I supposed to? I barely have enough money to live by myself. Naturally, we are not demanding at all to be repaid at once. There is still a, amount, a small amount of time before any payment is due. Therefore, I'm gonna get... I'm gonna get sold off in parts to distant foreign lands to repay my papa's debts. I wonder if I can survive with only two internal organs. Maybe if I eat a lot of spinach, then I can replace my blood. And... But I don't want to be a sailor. What am I gonna do? Please listen to me for a moment. I have no idea what you're... Where you are getting these ludicrous ideas from but I would never do such a thing. Quite the opposite, in fact. I was sent here to ensure that you wouldn't have to resort to such, well, absurd methods of paying us back. But what? I've been sent to support you to the fullest of my ability so that you can repay the debt via labor. But I've never worked a single day in my life. Experience has no bearing in this case. All that matters is whether or not, you are willing to work. <laughs> if you do not wish to work, then that is it. The house is Termes. And I will have to ask you to leave the premises. As the saying goes, who do not work, do not eat. So, Miss Lemongrass, which would it be? Work or the house? I'll work, then. Splendid. But I don't even know what I could do. Actually, I already have the... I have an idea on that front. You are aware of this course, of course, that this city is an adventuring hub. In addition to this, houses face this house faces out onto one of the main city lanes. Therefore, I propose converting the house into an item store. Item store. So really straining my eyes looking at this. Sorry if I stumble on the words. I'm not really used to reading that much in a video. Mademoiselle Lemongrass. I was only gone for a little to do some market research. Where could she have gone? I'm being silly, of course. She fled. Why would she not? All I did was threaten to take away everything she ever knew and loved. Asking to turn the house into an item shop was foolish. Even if... It was to repay the debt. The poor girl must be terribly confused. And on top of that, her father is probably d 
stirred. Wait outside. Click, click. Yayness, it's done. Hey, Tira, look, it's done. What's that? It's our shop, of course. Shop sign. Doesn't it look cool? Can't be a shop without one of these, you know. Yes, well, it is quite well made, however. I've always been good at making stuff. The name, you are quite sure you have thought that one through? Reseteer. In the neat. Bubba. Oh god, what's going on? Okay, uh, the reason I left for a second is because I'm running out of space on my hard drive, so whenever that happens, you know, FPS goes down because, you know, you don't really have room. Alright. Two of us is opening the shop, so that should reflect the name, right? You don't like it? Really, it's not that, but well, it, that is decided. Reseteer. Mince pronounce it slightly and Reketeer, Racket. This job is going to be even more absurdly difficult than I originally suspected. I fear. Yep. And so fairy suddenly entertained my life. Entered my life. One thing was for sure. This wasn't going to be dull. Oh man. How's it possible to sleep this much each day? How? This is tear. Mm, let's do the very best we can do. Who's on first? What? Good morning. The clock does not have a good morning hand. Reset, you are the pr 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 proprietor of the item shop now. You must learn to be responsible and not sleep the day away. Right. Why in the name of heaven are you smiling so much? That smile you had while sleeping is just getting bigger. Oh, no reason. Just think. I saw something nice in my dreams. Tira, let's give it our all. Wash yourself and meet me downstairs. Hi. Day two. So, I have an item shop and stuff. And it's all cool and awesome. So, uh, what do we do now? That's up to your judgment. If you sit at the counter, we can open immediately. Or we can re reorganize the uh, shop. Or we could even go search for new stock around the shop or somewhere. It's a ton of options. How do I choose? It's all, as I said earlier, running a place like this is more of an art than it is. Something you can simply pull on map through. Simply pick something and we'll deal with it as it comes. Well, okay. Okay, now we are actually out of the tutorial in the game. So I'm going to save now and this will be the end of the first part. Or actually this could be a second. There could be two parts to this. I don't know. It's so long. But thank you guys for watching and I hope you tune in to when we can actually play the game. I hope, uh... Being a little girl did not turn you off to this game, because there is actually fighting in this game. You get to control an adventurer to find more items to sell in your shop. It's really cool. So, uh, thank you guys for watching, and see you guys later.